just got home from school. <laughs> yep, school, 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 school. Ladies and gentlemen. So, here's what the team is looking like. It's looking pretty good. I, I'd say, I'd say so. Geno Smith, Paquette, Andrew Shaw. Dude, I'm surprised Andrew Shaw is doing what he's doing. He's doing pretty good, mate. But we have Landis Cog, McKinnon, Nurmi, Franklin, Beckett, Pierre Dubois, Taro. Yeah, Taro Heroes. I've got, I got a few players. I traded, uh, <laughs> Miko Rantanen for Franklin Beckett. He's 18, 83 overall, medium elite. So he first first overall draft pick, too. So overall, he's kind of looking better. I mean, he's also a sniper. He has a wicked shot though, so he's living up to his name, to say the least. Um, Taro Heroes. Pierre Luc Dubois down the middle. Uh, he fits perfectly on this line. Well, near to perfect on this line. Um, just honestly, Beckett at this point, like, if I do that, if Beckett grows, just unanimously, uh, not unanimously, but if he grows just greatly, dude, I'm putting him on the first line, putting Nurmi on the second line, and I'm just gonna rock it like that, but I'm gonna keep it like that. The defense. I gotta fix out. I gotta fix something with the defense. Something just isn't clicking. You know. You know. But I think. I think we're all ready to roll into the season. I think I might take it week by week, not month by month, but week by week. Safe to say. Week by week. So here, let's just go till the twelfth. So seven one victory. I kind of played that, but. So whatever, so 5-3 loss. And then a 5-4 win. Overall, I mean, we didn't do... Let's see how we're doing. Uh, Pierre Luc Dubois, six points already this season. Good for him. That's what I like to see. Let's, let's look, let's look. Okay, Gabriel Landis Cobb getting it done. Franklin Beckett, over a point per game. He has an amazing shooting percentage. Uh, Morgan Riley is actually a minus one, but it's whatever. He'll get back up there. I have a feeling. And whoever just joined, hello, whoever just joined. We are a week in, over a week. Um, pretty big week. This week we're about in the middle of our division. Let's let's simulate game by game. How about that? Game by game. Philadelphia win. K three one. Dallas loss. Three two. Two one loss. We're three and three. It's not too good. K okay, win. Win on Chicago. So overall kind of expected us to do better. Gabriel Landis Cog is doing what a playmaker should do, which is pass. He has nine assists in seven games. So good for him. Pierre the ball. He's kind of chilled out a little bit. And Morgan Riley in that first line. How is Kale McCarr? No points for Kale McCarr. No points at all for Kale McCarr. Okay. Maybe that's why we're not doing good both offensively and defensively. Because usually we'd be doing good. We would be like seven and one, but we're four and three right now. So something has to be changed with this defensive pairing. So plus minus of one, plus minus of two. Samuel Gerard. Is this his chance? I might, I might, I might try something.
if it comes down to that, I'm gonna try that. But right now, I th I'm gonna just stay with this. If we go on another week, being 500, we're gonna have to make a change. Definitely, we're gonna have to make a change. We gotta win a couple games here. Okay, there we go, win. And then a win, okay. So, we're not doing too bad. Winnipeg, Winnipeg is 7-3, so actually they're kind of struggling too. So, okay, and we won, we won. So, um, let's just, let's look at the standings. Wild Jets, Blackhawks, okay. It's whatever. We'll get up there, just two wins and we could be first in our division, so it's all right. Sorry, nothing to panic about. Uh, just Kale McCarr, Morgan Riley, they're plus three each, and that that is that's the main concern right now. And we lost. Okay, that's not good. And we won. Okay, we won. So now we're tied. There's four teams tied for first in the division. Armia, Armia, Armia. What's going on with Armia? Joel Armia. Nothing too special about the guy. If he's a grinder, mm, not a grinder though, so. Okay, so eight and four could be better. I wanna see how Kale McCarr is doing now. Just, that's kind of a concern. And Pierre Victor Ball is back up there. Wow. Okay. Gabriel Landis Cogs right there. Where is Nermi? Oh my god. Nermi. Wow. This is surprising me. You know what? I might try for a short stint. Here, I'll just simulate a game we lost. OT loss. But Nermi, for some reason, just plays good on the second line of Pierre Luc Dubois. I'm gonna play Nermi on the second line for a little bit. I'm gonna put Beckett up there, see how he does. Let me go a few games. But he, like, Pierre Luc Dubois, the biggest point getter on our team currently. I gotta put somebody good with him. So, let's just simulate game by game. Loss. Win. You gotta get probably another win. Two. Okay. Okay, we got another win. We're right there with everybody else. Um. Yeah, Toronto's killing it, dude. That's not good. Six three win. Okay. Two one win. Okay, we're 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 doing it. We just we can't slow down now. Pure the block still the first point getter on the team. Nermi, okay, Nermi, his production has actually gone up. So, let me try something. Edit lines. What I'm gonna do... I mean, actually, the team is doing good right now, as is. Let, let's just, let's keep this right now, just for a little bit. If you with the ball and Nermi keep on just killing it, I think I might move them up with Nathan McKinnon. Oh, blow out, blow out of a win. Gabriel Landis Cog. Gabriel Landis Cog is being so silent. 
Yeah, it's so good. Okay. Nathan McKinnon's getting up there on the point totals. So what I think I might do, I don't want Nermi to just lose his progression. So what I am going to do, I'm going to move Nermi back up. They're playing good as is. How is... 12 points in 19 games. Okay. I'm going to see how Nermi will do now. So, just keep on rolling. We're not doing so bad now. So here, let's just go through two games. If I can win one of these two games, two would be a home run. Okay, I won. One, one. Good. Good. We'll take that. Detroit. Detroit, I think, is not half bad now. Okay, but we still won, so it's all right. Jets, dude. Jets are still doing it. Um, okay. Win. Good. So, it looks like the Nermi tactic... Nermi tactic is still working. Or, it's working on the first line, so... Nermi, where's Nermi? Oh, oh, look at Nermi now. Okay, yep, 22 points. He was, like, he only had, like, not a lot of points earlier. And his shooting percentage was 2%. Now it's 11. So he's getting it done. He is getting it done now. Now, Pierre Dubois is a minus 1. Wow. I'm surprised. Morgan Riley is a minus 2. He's turning it on. Kale McCarr. Okay, 9 points. Okay. Okay, they're getting it done. They're getting it done. Just a little bit of a slow start. That's it. Just a, just a slow start. You know? Um, okay, let's keep on going. San Jose. I think they're 500. And, okay, well, now they're below 500. <laughs> let's just go. Ugh, loss. Sorry, we're doing pretty good now. We were kind of on a hot streak. Wait, how much games do we win this month? Mm -mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine wins this month, which is pretty good. Okay. Gabriel Land is caught. Having a pretty good year so far. Um, what I want to do though, I want to sign Pierre Luc Dubois back. Except, look at this, guys. Pierre Luc Dubois, he does not want to resign. That is a concern. It's safe to say that is a concern, ladies and gentlemen. Um, he wants a solid amount of years and money in general. Um, Carter Hart. I'm still, I'm still thinking about Carter Hart. I'm not sure, man. Um, he, he was just supposed to be a rental. Um, he does want to resign. I might sign him. Because if you look in the system, highly 65 overall, 19 years of age. He is going to get as good as Carter Hart. If not better, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just pointing that out now, okay? Actually, I think he's actually grown a few overalls as well, not to mention. So, thinking about that, I'm thinking maybe Carter Hart for two years. What does he want for two years? 7.9, 7.5 for, or let's, let's try... 7.25 for two years. That's not going to go through, I can already guarantee you, but, I mean, if it does, though, it won't hurt. Then, okay, we got to think about Pierre Luc Dubois. I might just sign him to a one-year. One year, exactly what he wants. Actually, I'll give him 9.3. Okay, then we'll just have to see. 
you will have to see. Fit stay. I want to look at the progress report. Let's see. Nathan McKinnon has grown. Like, 17? Pretty good. Um, Pierre Dubois has not grown, but he is playing really good. Carter Hart has not grown. Gabriel Landis Cog. He's grown. He's grown. He's having a good season. Andre Palat. 21? 21 in the growth? What? God, good for him. It looks like I'm so just Pierre Luc Dubois is the guy that I need to resign. Will that oh, Quentin Byfield? <laughs> he should be a higher overall. They gotta play him like two way, two way sniper. <laughs> I don't know. They could be playing him on the second line. Kyle Connor, two way, two way, two way. That probably won't work. Um. Anyways, Josh Morrissey, Sammy Niku. So overall, I mean, team isn't the worst, but they aren't the best either, you know. But like, they sure got quite. <coughs> they sure got quite the team, though. I don't know how they're doing as good as they're doing, considering that we're also pretty good ourselves, so I'm just pointing that out. <laughs> okay, anyways, 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 Nermi is almost up to a point per game pace. Good, good. Morgan Riley, Morgan Riley is kicking it. He is kicking it. That's good. Then, Kale McCarr, oof. Kale McCarr was kicking it. Now he's kind of not as much. But Morgan Riley is kicking it. Like 25 points in 29 games as a defenseman. I'd say that's pretty good. You know. Not bad, not bad. Anyways, just, let's just take this game by game. Shootout win. Jets are on top of us. But they played a couple games while we didn't. It's alright. Uh... Let's look at this trade. Let's look. Top six forward lines. This guy's on a pretty good deal. It might not hurt to pick this guy up instead of Craig Smith for Le Future. I might do that. Nakis. I think I'm gonna do that. So here, let's hold up a sec. Let's see how well this guy fits. Dang it, stupid coach messed up the lines. So, here. Let's put Geno Smith. Yep. Come on. I'm, I'm taking a bet on this one. Wait, where is he? He's not a right winger, right? He's a left winger. No? Here, let's just, let's see how this guy looks. Okay. Okay, it's whatever. Smith, Craig Smith. I do have an extra player though, so it's okay. It's whatever. Let's just keep on going, keep on going, go, 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 go. Wait. 21, 9, and 1. Not bad. Jets are looking pretty good, though. We gotta go on a winning streak. Like a deep one. So we can get 30, 9, and 1. Shoot at 1. Loss. It's alright. Win. 
on, Chicago. This is a big game. Yes, win. That's good. That means that there's n they're nine points below us now. So that's good. Let's just keep on simulating. Win. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, first line is kicking it. Second line is not kicking it as expected. That's kind of not good. Back at 20 points, though. It's not too bad. I might stick him on the third line. I might move Andre Palat up. Let's see how this works. Maybe just Beckett. The guy just, uh, you know, isn't feeling it on that. I don't know. But let, let's see. Now that there's higher overalls on the second line, let's see how that works for them. Just small, minor adjustments. Just two players. Therot. 2 1 win. Close win, that's for sure. To say the very least. New York, they're doing pretty good, aren't they? Win. Okay, Islanders at the top of their division. 23 wins ain't bad. Good for them. Montreal. Loss. That's alright. I can live with that. Dang, Sabres are kicking it, dude. We're playing against the Sabres soon, too. Win. I would like to win against the Sabres. I'm just going to simulate these three games. Screw it, dude. Win. 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 Okay. Hey, we'll take that. We aren't looking too bad, to say the least. Gabriel Landis Cog is still doing a pretty good. So maybe Beckett, I stick him on the third line for now. See, look, he has 27 points. Okay, and he's also out of the ditch. Improve the ball. Okay, 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 okay. I'm fine with that. Team's working now. The team is working. So I like to see Kale McCarr. 25 points plus minus a 14 good good that's what i like to see gabriel landiscock having a career year and his potential is top six forward exact wow cool awesome don't know how that happened but it happened <laughs> dang i'm surprised like what here well, let's go let's go propose trade i want to see his trade value Gabriel Landis, look at this man. Like, I, there's n n nothing slowing him down, I could say that much. Like, okay. And 32, he is kind of getting up there in age, but he's 89 overall, why should it matter? You know? I don't know. But what I can do, I can move. Pierre-Luc Dubois. I can basically trade Landis Cog away and put Pierre-Luc Dubois right there and boom. Um, yeah, I might do that, but Gabriel Landis Cog, he's having a career year. I'm just pointing that out. So, what I think I might do is I might sign 
might sign Pierre Luc Dubois to a pretty big deal. Might do five years. Oh, he's asking for. Okay. I'll take that. So, what if we go 8.6. 8.7. Let's just see what he thinks about that. Advanced day. Let's advance a couple days. Okay. Okay, it's whatever. Right now we're fine, so. We're rolling with him. I just, I gotta make sure I should either trade somebody either Landis Cog or Pierre Luc Dubois arguably or I hope uh oh two back to back losses Oof, okay we still have 64 points so so it's whatever Victor Rask what I might do Edit lines. Oh, I don't want to advance day. Okay, whatever. Edit lines. Let's. Okay, let's go back. How's Beckett doing now? He's not doing bad. Can't believe Gabriel and his cog is a top six forward. But that just means I'm gonna have to trade him for probably somebody else. But I think I'm gonna go back with this. Cause Beckett, Beckett is scoring the puck. I'm just pointing that out. Beckett is scoring it, so let's just let's keep on rolling. O'Connor. Okay. Honestly, that might be somebody that can roll with uh, Plot and Toast, or Yoast and Toast. Yoast. When Craig Smith gets old. So, I think I'm going to keep O'Connor just for the chemistry purposes. Anyways, so let's, let's uh, continue. Oof. Four game losing streak. That ain't good, Chief. Uh, 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 come on, just at least win against Winnipeg. Uh, we're, we're starting to lose it now, guys. Okay, I gotta make a trade sometime soon. So, uh, let's go edit lines. Pierre Luc Dubois, he has 40, 40 points on the dot. I think what I'm gonna try and do, I'm gonna boom Pierre Luc Dubois. Dude, Mika Nurmi. Honestly, frick that. I'm gonna do that so Nurmi can just get good again, you know? Like, get good kid. And then I'm, I'm gonna just see what I can do. I'm kind of stuck in a tough position. So we'll just have to see. We will just have to see. When? Okay, so at least we gotta win. We gotta win after. Uh, eh. We gotta win out of that. Okay. So let, let's keep Nurmi on the second line for now. We're winning, so. It's alright. Lost, though. It's alright. Yes, okay, good, good. Okay. When? 
win, 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 win. Can you win? Yes, okay, 36, 19, and two. So we're looking good near the deadline. Gabriel Landis Cog is still kicking. It's like, I don't know what to do about it. Even though, like, his potential is going down, 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 down. It's not good, and he has to reuse it. Dude, I think it's best idea if I trade I think it's a best idea if I trade Gabriel Alanis Cog away. Like right now he's having a career year. I can fleece a team. Get a really good pick and stuff like that. Uh just overall. Nermi's playing pretty or Beckett's playing pretty good. So I think what if I okay, so do that and that's Joss doesn't fit on this line. He fits 100% on this line. So I'm, I'm gonna keep this line as is. I gotta find a center that can replace Gabriel Landeskog. So, what do I have to do? Not sure. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Cause I love Pierre Luc Dubois. I love the idea of Pierre Luc Dubois being there, and doing what he does best. So what I am going to do, I'm going to sign Pierre-Luc Dubois to the big deal that Landis Cog is on currently, right? Except he actually wants more than what Landis Cog has. So, I'm going to sign, let's do a five-year, $10 million deal. And I'm gonna make sure I get rid of Landis Cog. Right? Yeah, so here, let's just go. Um wait, what is Landis Cog? Power forward, right? Landis Cog, power forward, yep. He fits really good on this team and in a hole, but I I need to switch up here. So, anyways, player search. <sighs> Let's see. Forward. Player roll, second line. Power forward. Let's see what is potentially on the market for us. So, Dylan Cousins, a person with great upside. Toxic forward line T is on just an amazing deal currently let me look because he has to have an extension right he has to have an extension so let's look at contracts view contracts uh buffalo does this guy have a extension no he does not this is my shot to shoot you could say shot to shoot this guy overall four million dollars keep in mind he here let's see what kind of season he's putting up if he's not putting up a good season so far um then he might he might be cheap you know so here let's just go forward second line Cousins, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Top six forward lines. What kind of year is he putting up? Okay, a mediocre year. His plus minus is actually a one. So if anything, he's good. All right. Safe to say. Or we can look at Nolan Patrick. 26, medium elite. Forward line two specifically. So here, let's go select watch list then watch list so we'll look at those two Kirby Dak out oh, of love to have the man's actually he doesn't even fit but I, I'd love to have the man's Kirby Dak just he's too expensive he'll be hard to get 
So, let's look at the contract deal. So, 4.6 milli, then 6.6 .6 milli. Older, younger. So, overall, Dylan Cousins is looking like the guy that I could get. Top six, he's younger, he's on a better deal, one year left. Overall, Dylan Cousins, I think he might be that guy. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna choose Dylan Cousins. Let me go into the franchise mode and let me get Buffalo going. Here, so let me take a picture of my coach's scheme fits. Defenseman, we hold up. I want to check out this Herbert guy. Okay, cool. Whatever. It's all right. So I forgot what I was doing. Oh yeah, coaching stuff. Brisbane. I think overall, he's just. I think he's completely balanced on the second one. If I'm not mistaken, yeah. Bounce, 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 don't block. So, pop. Let's take a picture. And, uh, okay. So, who do I want again? Nolan Patrick. And Dylan Cousins. One of those two. Preferably Dylan Cousins. So here, let's go franchise mode. New. Who should I be? Flyers? Should probably be Flyers. Thy hairs. I'll be K. Do you have to wait so long? Stop having me wait, game. Please. Thank y'all. Ah. Okay. Let's go over. Edit lines. Let's see what a Nolan Patrick really is. Where are you, Nolan Patrick? I feel like he's really easy to spot. Okay, here. Wait, isn't Oscar Lindblom the guy that like got diagnosed with cancer or something like that? I'm not sure. Let's see if anybody will work. Sorry, I don't know why. Okay. Come on, please be balance, balance. Okay, carry cycle, balance, balance, balance. So, he could probably make that plus three. Behind the net, balance, balance. So, overall. Balance, balance. He, he, he might be a plus three. Most likely a plus one. So, now I gotta get Dylan Cousins from... Uh, Buffalo. Hi, top six. Let's just trade Joel Farabee. 
because they're like exactly the same. Bop. What? Fine, you guys want a first round. Bop. Trade accepted. Aw. Sucks to suck. Okay. Anyways, I don't want to. Where is my man? Seriously though, Scratch? Is he in Scratch? What? Where's my man? Dylan Cousin. Like I spelled that wrong. I did. Wait, it's E N. I'm freaking retarded. Dylan Cousins. There you are, buddy. What? Okay, I'm not exactly sure. You know what I can do? Eh. I don't know. Nolan Patrick ain't really looking like that guy. But, I don't know Dylan Cousins. Wait. No, you know, uh, I think I might have him on another one of my teams. Wait, hold on, let me delete these. I think, I think he's on my Los Angeles Kings team. Let's see. Yeah, I forgot this team was so stacked. View contracts. <laughs> Let's look at this team. 91, 91, 89, 88. Okay, yeah, okay, so I do have him on my team. Good to know. Balance, balance, efficient, don't block. Okay. So, at least I know now. Dude, this team is so stacked. This team is so stacked. Jake Bean. Jonathan Drew. <laughs> Wait. Beach. Oh, I remember he was a low elite and he had like so much like upside. And he just, he didn't have upside. That's the thing. Moses. I remember he had also a bunch of upside. Let's see, let's see. Goalies. Don't I have like a pretty good goalie? Yeah, 92 overall. Suave. Guys, Suave. He actually played pretty good. Good for him. But I kind of just gave up on that team. I'm going to be honest. Kind of gave up on the team. It was like really good players and just not so good players after. So kind of just like, <laughs> you know, that kind of deal. Uh, delete. Yes. So it's either down to Cousins or Nolan Patrick. Overall, I think Cousins might be looking better. Uh, yeah, it's safe to say I think he might be looking a little bit better. Here, so, took a picture of his scheme fit. He's balance, balance, efficient, don't block. So let's, let's, let's look at my man's. Oh, uh, wait. No, wait. I should probably look at coaching staff. Okay, come on. Please work. I want a plus three. Young guy, too. Pff, okay. Oof, come on. Okay. Uh, balance. Balance. 
efficient. Don't block. This guy will work work like a beaut, ladies and gentlemen, like a beaut. So, here are view contracts. I should I should pay Pierre Luc Dubois for one year, just one year. So, anyways, uh, he'll also work on the first line. Dylan Cousins, the guy will work. The guy will work. Fine trade. Let's just let's see what people will give up first of all for Gabe. Fine trade. No trades found. Okay, cool. It's gonna be tough to trade this guy away, but with Buffalo, he can probably he can work with Eichel. He can work with Eichel. So, ooh, okay, Dylan Cousins. He, I think Dylan Cousins will work perfect. Uh, I mean, he's gonna work perfect with us. Gabe, let's just try a one for one. Yes, sir. Okay, come on, dude. I gotta see. I gotta see. I gotta see. It's a one for one. It wasn't really a fleece. To say, okay, that's not bad, but plus five. Ah. So he's not really working. Okay, Dylan Cousins is the one that's working fine. Okay. I think I might I might roll with that. Plus three. Now I just need that right wing that works good. Well here. Nermi, okay. Overall though, I think I think it was a good trade. I just got rid of five million dollars of cap space. And here, let me just situate the lines later. Let's see what Dylan Cousins, okay, Dylan Cousins does want to resign for eight milli. Okay, hey, it is it is better than Gabriel Landis-Cog. Except I, I am not gonna worry about Dylan Cousins yet. Yet, 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 okay. But here. See if something will work. I I know it has it in them. That can make it. Wait, what? Who makes it a plus three? That's okay. whatever I got a plus three on that line I I think I am gonna look for somebody to play on that line but that's the least of my worries right now uh, yeah just overall I'd say that was good now I just I need somebody to work that line out Craig Smith I don't know he if he can get it done necessarily but honestly I think I might try this right now just just for now then I gotta get the one, the only Gino Smith, okay? Boom, plus three, so plus five, plus one, plus three, plus three. Yes, I did make this line not as good, but hey, better for the future. <clears throat> Overall, I think that was just a pretty good part. So here, let's just work this out, Walensky. Bop, yeah, okay. Now, I just, I gotta work out the third defensive pairing, so I think I might sign Pierre Luc Dubois, just a big one-year deal. That'll be it. I've decided to reject your offer, you little poopy. So let's just go view contracts, let's give him a one-year big fat, juicy amount of money, okay? Okay, 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 big fat, juicy amount of money. Just one year, one year, one year, eleven milli, or ten point four milli. Okay, 
Let's just let's see how that works. Then just a bunch of people down. Not not a lot of people, but a bunch of people. Or wait, what? I don't even know what I just said. So let's see, uh when It was an easy decision after eleven million dollars. It was an easy decision. Shut up. <laughs> hey. We got it done. We got it done. We got it done. We got it done. That's all that matters is we got the deal sealed. Okay. Joachim Nordstrom. Let's see what he has to offer. If he Okay, he's a two way, but nah. If he was on a two way, then I might have picked him up. But I probably wouldn't have. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? Let's just keep on going. I wonder how LA is doing. They just beat us. Red Wings still suck. <laughs> okay. I'd like to get uh, 40 wins. Yes, we got 40 wins by the trade deadline. That's pretty good. But Jets, they're kind of killing it right now. Just kind of. Just kind of. Morgan Riley is having quite the year. And Pierre-Luc Dubois, he was like minus 22 and he's he's still doing he's getting there he's getting there but overall i mean kill my car eh. he's supposed to be an offensive defenseman for a reason except it's not really working out as the offensive defenseman type style so okay 40 wins. We're past the trade deadline. The only thing that we can do is just go. You know, just go for it. So I'd say, yeah, let's, let's continue on the pace of every week. Just a little status check each week. That's it. Just a little status check each week. Okay. Let's see. Let's see how everybody's doing. Nathan McKinnon, a point per game. Good, good, good. Keep it like that. Nat, Nat Mac, Nate Mac, Nate McKinnon. Okay. Actually, Pierre Dubois is plus minus is getting worse, isn't it? It's not good. It's not good. That is not a good. But it's whatever, because a lot more people than just him. Like, I don't know. Just third line. Our third line is probably our best line in the league. Best third line in the league. Probably. Just pointing that out. Beckett. I grew in overall. Let's go, Beckett. Here, let's go to the AHL. Let's see if my def... Or my goalie. Okay. Hasn't grown a single overall, but he'll get there. He'll get there. Okay, he'll get there, guys. He will get there. I was kind of planning on having Carter Hart play just a year with us, but it might be a couple years. Just a couple. That's it. Just a couple. That's it. That's it. So overall, we're doing pretty good now. We have arguably the best goalie in the league. And a lot of other things too. A lot of other assets. Even though we're losing. Yep, yeah, we're losing. CBJ.
we gotta win a lot of our games to get first in the division. Let's just, let's just go till the end. How about it? 50 point or 50 win season. I'll settle. I'll settle with a 50 point season. Okay. We'll take a 100 point season. 52 win season. Not as good as the year before, but still pretty dominant. I'd say pretty dominant. Um, so here, let's just, let's go here. Let's look at who did what they did. Nermi, I, he is supposed to be a sniper. And he put up 46 assists. But Pierre-Luc Dubois, he got it rolling. Now he's only a negative seven. So that's good. Overall, we just have, we have a lot of plus people. So I'm fine with that. Oh yeah, I'm perfectly fine with that actually. Some minus people, but for the most part, plus people. Now it's just a whole new season. We can do whatever we can to win and get this catch money, baby. Okay, let's look at the standings. So obviously, Winnipeg up there, dominant. 53 point season like win season uh, 110 point season though um, Chicago Blackhawks down there okay uh, here let's just go entire league Toronto Maple Leafs 112 points then Edmonton up there too wow 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 then there we are fourth in the league Settle. Just settle. That's it. Uh, then let's see who's last in the league. <laughs> they still suck. <laughs> they still suck. <laughs> uh, where is Boston? Boston, Boston. Boston, okay. In the middle of the pack. Not bad. Let's see here. Let's look at the extra stats. Point percentage, 65%. Goals for 300. Is that the most in the league? Oh, no. Okay. Hey, still not bad. Goals four per game. Okay, we're up there. Goals against. Oh, wow. But where are we? We could just do that. Goals at 203 goals against. Dominant. Dominant. Where are we? All right, okay, we're, we're still hanging in there. Edmonton, goals against per game. Okay, yeah, it's just staying the same. Power play goals. Oh, 73 out of Chicago. Almost one power point, or almost, I can't say stuff. Colorado Avalanche, we're up there, we're up there. Total power plays. Okay, 270. Tampa, Tampa, and then Colorado. So we're hanging in there. Short-handed goals against. Overall, I'd say we're probably like here. Boston, Boston. Oh, they have Thatcher Demko though, so is that a surprise? No short-handed goals against this season. Wow, for Boston. Boston, Boston. Good for them. But where are we? We're kind of nowhere to be seen. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good. <laughs> I mean, 
Tampa's there. Uh, Kings aren't far. Uh, Minnesota. Toronto. Ooh. Short-handed goals against for Toronto. That's not good. Power play goals against. That's also not good. So their power play isn't their extra, like, other teams, special teams isn't very strong. Wait, uh, okay. We're in the middle of the pack, though, I guess. Okay, time shorthanded. Okay. Penalty kill. Let's look at the Tampa. Tampa. Tampa, Tampa. We gotta look for fourth place. There we are, okay. 79%. I mean, it's right there with everybody else. Ho oh. ho. Okay, we're right there. We're right there. Home record. Okay. We're there. We aren't the best team. But we're definitely... We can compete. We don't need any of the categories. Two, seven, and one. Good for you guys. <laughs> Bots, your Taj. Your Taj. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Overall, we're not the worst team. We may not be the best team. And we're, we're overall just a competitive team. This is a whole new season. This is a whole new Aziz and okay, ladies and gentlemen, and it's the stars. Okay, the stars. Overall, let's look. Let's look. I'm only planning on doing regular season, so not postseason, but let's see. Um, let's go view lines, Dallas. Dallas, Dallas, Dallas. Okay, so they still have their first line. <laughs> That's for sure. Their second line is honestly better than their first line. Eh, nah. Evgeny Malkin. See, the thing that's scary about these people, though, is their extra attributes. Shooting. This guy can score, okay? He's... He's an 80 overall, but he can sure score. Jamie Ben, he can score too. Tyler Sagan, he's still dominant. Doesn't matter. But the guy's just, the guy overall is pretty good. Let's look. Shooting category, senses, puck skills, they're all good. You know? Dennis Gurianov, he doesn't really have shadows just a skating ever so slightly Tim Stutzel overall the guy's freaking power is insane and puck skills so the guy's definitely worth some and then Nikita Gusev let's look nothing really special but like the vets they still have that shooting power dude and it's kind of scary So, wait, power forward, playmaker, don't be a sniper. Okay, you're two-way. That helps it out ever so slightly. Then, Gusev, nice stuff. Gustav, nice, ni ni knifeist. Lars Eller, <laughs> Lars Eller. Lawson Kraus. The guy was a 11th overall pick. He didn't pan out to what he was supposed to be. <laughs> then, okay, let's look at defense. Yep, this is when things start to get a bit scary. 91, Miro Heiskanen. 85, Wendell. Julius Honka. So, overall, 
first defensive pairing, ours might be a teensy bit better. Second defensive pairing, they might have us beat. Third defensive pairing, offensive defenseman, two-way. They probably don't have us beat there. Actually, no, they probably do. Then let's look at their goalie. Oh, they have Jordan Bennington and Ben Bishop. Jordan Bennington. Oh. Let's do a one game, okay? One game, then I'll just stream. Then we'll we'll get going. Uh, yeah. Let's do one game. Ah, uh, times eight. Let's see. Tyler Sagan. Dang. Oh. Okay. Beckett. McKinnon. So they score two. We score two. It's all right. Beckett and McKinnon. The two arguably pretty good guys. You know, like pretty good guys. Okay. Well, anyways. 2-2, two, two. and oh, we score Tyson Jost right off the beginning of the period. 15 seconds in. Killing off the power play. We're doing good on killing off the power play. So are they. So it's whatever. It doesn't matter. And oh, Tyson Jost, second goal of the game. That's a biggie. That is a biggie. Nathan McKinnon, Frederick Beckett, I think. Then Tyson Jost. They're, they're, they're the guys here. Then, oh, for Dallas, we have uh, Demi Ben and Tyler Second. Then Dylan Cousins, the acquisition. Nikita Gusev, the acquisition for Dylan Cousins. Doing it, doing it. I don't know what else to say about it, but he's doing it. And there's four minutes left. One goal. Oh, Tyson Jones with the hat trick. Tyson Jones with the hat trick. Okay, good for Tyson Jones, dude. Hey, good for him. Good for him. Well deserved, man. He deserved it. It's safe to say. So, on that note, guys, I say uh, I'm gonna get going. It was a pretty good stream. 52 win season. When we won the first game. Pretty good. Of the playoffs. We had some big acquisitions. You know what I actually am going to try and do though. I'm going to do view contracts. Dylan Cousins. He is a pretty good guy. I think I'm going to sign him. He wants an $8 million deal though. Something like that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, 8.3 milli milli, okay. Or should I wait? I'll think. Well, depends if I want to sign him to a big, big deal. And it's not, not looking like it yet. I don't want to sign him for 10 million. Rather not. But, and Adam Larson does want to resign. There's some key players that are going to have to resign. I might... I might try and qualify Cousins, free up some cap space in a couple players. So, it's whatever though. <clears throat> I'll figure out something. I will figure out something. Ugh, okay. I'm going to get going, guys. See you later. Peace out.